Anyway, that's another field finished. So we'll just come coming into the quarry field here. I've collected kills in many times. Over the 35 years I worked at the plate there. Uh, I'm getting a thumbs up which is good. It's uh, I caught one of the Brian Templeton guys at Jail Flat. I actually rowing up the other day. So nice big double gates. And I'll stand back, I never like to stand behind the moors. That close hand anyway. There's actually thunder and lightning in the area. I can see cripple. It looks like it's raining over there. See the, the dark clouds there. So it could come ashore at any time. So I'm quite sure this is the first time I've seen the three moors working together. But I could be wrong, has been known. I've filmed them a few times in the past. So we have Brow Well, which is famous for Robert Burns, just round the corner there. The other tractor coming. Stand up the road. Sixty six reds, this one. So he's going to start down at the end right there, the side of the road. I can feel a spits of rain now, I can see the rain over by Bank End in Capel area in the background there Uh, quite a distance away, the Fent, and we have the Case IH Puma here. Also got the New Holland T7.210, I think it is, actually cutting in the orchard back at Thwaite Farm there. So I hope to come back and see the the chopper in action, it'll probably be, depends on the rain of course. So that farm in the background is called the Akit, and it's Sam Patterson, works with lots of potatoes there. You can probably see all the potato boxes on the left hand side and to my left hand side we have the village of Clarensfield then we can see the 
the playground there for the football ground, sports ground. So I've probably done everything in this field of in my early days at the Thwait, I used to cut the silage with a far drum mower under 135. That was my job at the time for the silage. Uh, probably 1976, 1974 there, when I came to the, the Thwait at first. So I've seen lots of different silage systems in all that time. <laughs> 